Hello! Today I'm going to read you a story. It's called Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Bogey? Written by Timothy Knapman and Tom Knight. Are you sitting comfortably? Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Bogey? Once upon a time, in a faraway land, three bogies lived up in the horrid, hairy nose of a massive giant. Their names were James, Alice and the Big Bad Bogey. James and Alice were as sweet as can be. But the Big Bad Bogey was very naughty indeed. He loved pulling on the hairs of inside the giant's revolting nose and making him sneeze. Eww. One day, the giant had enough. He stuck his finger up his nose and had a really good pick. Help, said James and Alice. He's going to pull us out and eat us. But the big bad bogey was bored of living up the giant's nose. He jumped onto the finger shouting, Yippee! The giant was going to eat the big bad bogey. But he was so big and so bad that the giant flipped him away instead. As the big bad bogey flew through the air, he sang, Who's afraid of the big bad bogey? The big bad bogey, big bad bogey, every one of you. Then the big bad bogey went crashing through the roof of Grandma's house. Just as he was about to be eaten by the wolf, he had squished the wolf flat. Little Red Riding Hood came in and said, Grandma, what a big bad bogey you've got. All the better to squish you with, said the big bad bogey. Don't you dare, said the woodcutter, waggling his axe. Ha ha, laughed the big bad bogey and went bouncing over to the three bears house. Just as Goldilocks was about to eat one of the bowls of porridge, the big bad bogey bounced into the first bowl. Ouch! Too hot! Then into the second bowl. Ooh! Too cold! And lastly, the third bowl. Mmm! Just right! I'm not eating that now, said Goldilocks. It's got a bogey in it. Ha ha! laughed the big bad bogey and he went bouncing over to... Cinderella's house. Just as the fairy godmother was turning a pumpkin into a carriage, it was the most beautiful carriage there was until the big bad bogey came bouncing in and broke it to bits. So Cinderella had to go to the ball on a bogey instead. I'm not happy, she said, but the big bad bogey didn't care. Ha ha, as he laughed and went bouncing over to the palace. While Cinderella was dancing with the handsome prince, the big bad bogey saw a princess about to kiss a frog. So he went bouncing over and squished the frog flat. If I had kissed that frog, he might turn into a prince, said the princess. But you're disgusting and ugly too. So if I kiss you, you might turn into my true love. She kissed the big bad bogey, but he stayed the same. I feel sick now, said the princess. At that moment, the clock in the palace tower struck midnight and Cinderella ran away from the ball. She left her glass slipper behind on the stairs. The handsome prince said, I will marry the person who fits the slipper. The ugly sisters wanted to try it on, but before they got the chance, the big bag bogey bounced into the glass slipper and it fitted him perfectly. Will you marry me? asked the handsome prince with a tender sigh. I don't see why not, said the big bad bogey. Because you've spoiled my story. That's why not, said Cinderella. Storming up to the big bad bogey, she was very cross. And mine, said the princess with the frog. 
and mine, said Goldilocks. And mine, said Little Red Riding Hood. They were all very cross. The Big Bad Bogey looked around at all of their faces. They were very, very upset. Big Bad Bogey had been enormously naughty. He had spoiled everything. And he knew he should feel very ashamed indeed. But he didn't. Ha ha, laughed the Big Bad Bogey and he sang Who's afraid of the Big Bad Bogey, Big Bad Bogey, Big Bad Bogey, everyone. Yes, I'll marry you, he said to the handsome prince. And they went bouncing off into the sunset to live happily ever after when the massive giant picked up the Big Bad Bogey and decided to eat him after all. Down he went in one swallow. Yuck, said the giant. The end. If you would like to hear more fantastic stories, then please click the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more fantastic stories.